Today, LDM students are getting a look at Florence through the city's most prominent historical family, the Medici. Students got a crash course in Medici history while traipsing through the city on the family's trail. They stopped at some of Florence's most emblematic monuments, all associated with the Medici in one way or another. The Medici, for the uninitiated, were a prominent Florentine family who built their fortune in banking but left behind an unmatched legacy of arts patronage. They are largely responsible for bringing about the Renaissance through their support of artists such as Michelangelo, Masaccio and Brunelleschi and ruled Florence in both an unofficial and official capacity for many years. The walk through downtown Florence took students to some of the family's most significant spaces, including Palazzo Vecchio, still the seat of civic power in Florence today. It only got its name after the Medici household moved to Palazzo Pitti. Previously, Palazzo Vecchio was known as Palazzo della Signoria, named after the governing body of the city. Students also stopped by the Basilica of San Lorenzo, the parish church of the Medici family, and the burial site for many of its most prominent members. Palazzo Medici Ricardi, while often overlooked by plenty of tourists, is a stunning sight and the one-time home of the family. We spoke with some of the students and with their instructor on what made the walk important and why they decided to participate. There's so much history here and uh, it's all around us and if you don't really open your eyes, you don't realize it, so sometimes you kind of need people to point it out to you. I've seen uh, the six kind of ball emblems all around and I had no idea what they meant, but now I know that uh, that's property of the Medici. That's, that means that they built it or that they were involved. Uh, I signed up for the Medici tour just because I want to see more of the city. I want to really experience the culture and feel like I'm a part of uh, history. I want to I walk the path of the uh, people who've owned and built and controlled such a beautiful and historic town. Well, you know, it's all a bit surprising. I didn't know that the Medici's weren't really associated with the construction of the Duomo as much as uh, had been hinted towards us. I wanted, for the purpose of history and for student involvement, to pick the places that had the most drama attached or the most um, important events. So obviously Palazzo Vecchio has all of the important events in the history of Florence um, closely tied with the Medici. And then I also really like how it's physically connected to the Palazzo Pitti through the Vasari Corridor. Um, so the students can really see how the Medici traveled and their influence through Florence and through history. The Medici are just so important to Florence and the students will hear a lot about it in their classes, uh, obviously, but I wanted to make sure that in order to understand Florence, they understood the Medici because um, they are credited with the birth of the Renaissance and the birth of a lot of Florentine history. So I think it's very important if you're going to live in Florence to understand the impact the Medici have had on culture here.